in this video i am going to explain first in first out page replacement algorithm so first the uh, first question is that why we need page replacement algorithm so uh, this is the situation our secondary memory is larger than the ram so as you can see here uh, the example i have taken in this uh, this ram uh, this ram can accommodate four pages so there is a space only for four pages and uh, let's say in secondary memory there are a number of pages so as the page required that page is loaded in the memory and once this memory is full in that case if a new page is required in that case uh, already loaded page in memory has to be replaced so first in first out how this uh, algorithm actually works so the <coughs> this, this is the page reference string uh, it means uh, 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 initially we need first page then second page then fourth page sixth page seventh page fourth page and so on so let's see what will happen when a reference is made for a address that address is available in this page so for simply we are saying that page number one is required or page number one is reference so that page is not available in memory so first thing that page is loaded in the memory so whenever a page is referenced and if that page is not available in ram that is counted as a page fault so the total page access or total page reference so far we have done is one and it actually a page fault so page fault is actually one so whenever a page fault occurred that page is loaded in the memory okay now let's see for second page so now the page second page is required and this page is this one so this also not available in ram as you can see here so this also result in a page fault so now there are two page references we have completed and both result in two page fault so whenever a page fault is occurred that page is loaded in the memory uh, same, same process will be repeated for this one because this page also not available in RAM. It also result in a page fault. It will be loaded in memory and now next page required is seven, and that page is not available in RAM, so it will result in a page fault. Now the question is that this new page seven. This page will replace which of them? Like it will be placed at this location or this one or this one or this one. So FIFO provides solution for this problem. So first in first out, this approach says that a page which is brought in RAM first, that page has to be replaced first. So how we are going to know which page came at what time? So every page, whenever that page is loaded in RAM, a timestamp is attached with that page. So for initially what I have taken, I have taken just a sequence number and this sequence number is actually showing at which sequence that page is loaded in the memory. So this page is loaded first, this one loaded second, third, fourth. Now if we want to load a new page we simply replace the page which is loaded in this memory first so as you can see the timestamp for this page is the lowest so seventh page replace page number one now the thing is that before replacing this page this page has to be stored in secondary memory you might be thinking why this swapping out has to be done the reason is that it might be possible while this page is loaded in ram user has performed some updation or user has 
change some data in this page so while swapping out this page will be permanently saved in the secondary memory that's why this swap out is necessary so now we are having page number 7 available in ram and the timestamp attached with this page is 5 it means at 5th this page is loaded in this memory so so far uh, whatever page we have required that page was not available in ram and every page reference result in page fault so if we see the current status so total page references are 5 and total page fault 5 now let's see for the next one so the next page required is 4 and that page is already available in the RAM. So when a reference page is available in RAM, this one is known as hit page hit. Uh, same for this one, page number 2 available in RAM. This will also result in page hit. Now next page is Three. So page number 3 is required. As, as you can see in this RAM there is no such page. So this page has to be brought in the memory. And uh, for replacement we simply select a page with the minimum timestamp. So this page is having minimum timestamp. So page number 3 will replace page number 2. And we will associate the timestamp with page number 3 as well. Let's see for next page 4. So as you can see this page number already available in RAM. So it will result in page hit. And so on 8 we need a page 8. And that page is not available. It will result in page fault. And uh, for replacement we will select a page with minimum timestamp. So this is the page which is going to be replaced. 9, 9 also not available in RAM, result in page fault and 9 will replace this page because it is having minimum timestamp. And at last 1, so 1 will replace this one so uh, so total page we have references 12 and out of 12 there was 9 page fault or we can see there was 3 page hit so while studying page replacement algorithm their efficiency actually measured by using this formula hit ratio uh, it says that how many number of pages found in memory while referencing so in our case the total pages we have referenced 12 and the number of pages we have found in memory are 3. So hit ratio will be 3 by 12. Thank you very much for watching.